hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking another one of my videos so i'm really excited about this video today i'm going to show you how i transformed my nails from looking like this to this this is a really cool nail design trend i've been seeing all over on tiktok and instagram i've actually seen some nail techs decline clients from this nail design so i was really curious to find out just how hard it is to do these nails i've tried my best to find out the original creators of this nail trend i think it's either by ellen nailed it on instagram or by underscore j queen so yes if i'm wrong please do let me know and give credits to the original creator of this nail trend but yes guys let's get straight into the nail tutorial so for this video i'm going to be using long square full cover nail tips i got these from amazon so i'll try and link them below if i can find them but yes i have just lightly buffed them with a nail buffer and went straight in with a base coat So 60 seconds later those are nice and cured. I'm going to go straight in with a pink ombre nail design and I'm going to paint half the nail a thin coat of the pink. Make sure it's thin because when you're blending out the ombre it's so much easier. So super easy, half of the nail is white, half the nail is pink and then I'll take a brush and just vertically swipe down gently until I create an ombre effect. and then repeat this process on the rest of the nails another tip i would give is if you're finding that you've applied too much polish and it's hard to get the ombre effect then just use either a clean tissue or a palette to dab off or wipe off the excess polish on your brush and then you should have something that looks like this this is the first layer of ombre so once the first layer has been cured for 60 seconds i'm going to go in and do the exact same thing for a second layer of ombre and this is mainly so that the colors pop a bit more i always find that two layers of gel polish is where the color is at its best Cure the second layer for 60 seconds and now we're going to move on to the French tip. So for the French tip you're going to use the opposite colours. So for the whites we're going to do half a pink French tip and then for the pink side we're going to do half a white French tip. So as you can see here I'm trying my best to carefully freehand draw a French tip. Now because this is the first layer of the French tip you don't have to be super perfect but just try and be as neat as you possibly can. I'm not the best freehand nail painter so yes just take your time. And then do the same thing to create the ombre in the middle, just vertically brush downwards to create that ombre effect until you're happy with how it's looking. Repeat that for all of the nails and then go in and do a second coat and this is what my second coat of the French tips look like. So I cured those and then went straight in to steal in my design with a top coat. And to finish off, you might have noticed that the tips of my nails were not that straight or neat. So I'm going in with a nail file and just filing those nail tips straight. As you can see here, filing the tips of your nails makes a huge difference.
Okay, so design two is going to be the exact same thing, but I thought it would be fun to switch up the color. So I'm going to show you how I did the same thing using a green polish. So of course, start off with your two colors, half white, half green, and then blend those down the middle. Make sure to do at least two or three layers depending on how transparent your polish is so that your colours are nice and bright. And then go in and do the same amount of gel polish layers for the French tips. So again to finish off add a top coat and file down at the edges of your nails so that they look nice and neat. And then here we have the final result. I honestly don't think these nails are as hard as some people may make them out to be. It just takes maybe a little bit more time and patience creating the ombre. But overall, I feel like I honestly struggle more with a normal French tip more than I do these. So yes, definitely try these out. And if you enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment and share. It will help me and my channel out. And stick around, don't forget to subscribe. As of now, I've just hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to every single one of you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll try my best to keep posting and being consistent. I will see you in my next video. Bye.